So I'm going to try something different tonight. Please be kind. This is my first ever YouTube video. YouTube is a fantastic resource if you're interested in art. And in fact, actually, currently there is some debate over whether a formal university degree is has any value given the amount of information that you can currently get off of YouTube for free. Now, not to be a wet blanket, but many of the how-to videos I have seen on YouTube are seriously lacking in a safety component. Uh, but really, that being said, university degrees tend to focus on teaching students how to work within a state-of-the-art facility with excellent ve ventilation, not so much within a tiny studio apartment. Now, okay, to begin with, I'm going to focus on oil painting. So traditional art techniques make heavy use of chemicals, which... Okay, I mean, everything is made out of chemicals, right? But some chemicals require more caution than others. So a good basic safety precaution when oil painting is to, when you are finished oil painting for the day, wash your hands. And especially wash your hands before eating. Kind of a no-brainer thing, but maybe a good thing to point out. I would also seriously recommend painting with nitrile gloves. These have better chemical resistance to most things than what vinyl uh, food handling gloves do. Although that being said, they don't hold up well to peroxide. So if you're doing anything that has like a peroxide base to it, don't use these. Another aspect of oil painting is you need good ventilation. It, that being said, it's as simple as having a window that you can open within your studio space. Um, part of the reason for this is because oil paint requires a medium, like uh, in watercolor painting, water is the medium. For oil painting, it's usually a mineral spirit mixed with some sort of oil. So there are odorless paint thinners out there, but the thing is, just because you can't smell it doesn't mean that there aren't dangerous fumes that are posing a safety risk to you. Currently, I make use of Gamsol. This is supposedly supposed to be the safest of the bunch, but that being said, I would still recommend cracking a window every now and then to help keep your studio space safe. Along the lines of smell issues, if you're working in a tiny apartment, chances are you also have lots of neighbors. Traditionally, like in Northern European style painting, they would use linseed oil. Linseed oil has a very intense smell to it. So if you are living in close quarters with other people, linseed oil maybe isn't the best choice. I would actually recommend walnut oil to be used. It, has le it doesn't have the smell, the overbearing smell that linseed oil has. Uh, and I guess that's really all I have for this video. Ta-ta for now.